all about tradition. And on Friday night, a longtime Pueblo tradition enters its 52nd year when East meets South in the annual Cannon Game. 10,000 fans will pack Dutch Clark Stadium. The winner gets this Civil War type cannon. Now it's second only in popularity to the annual Bell Game in Pueblo, but it's been a one-sided rivalry as of late. The games have been closer lately, but South has won 13 straight Cannon Games. The boys on the East side are hoping the streak stops on Friday nights. Everyone's saying, are we going to win? Is this the year? 13 years, we haven't had it. Some say that South's going to keep it, but this is the year we feel it's been a long time coming. To break the streak, that'd be fun. It'd be great for our community and for what we want to do as a program, it'd be a huge stepping stone for us. Uh, we ultimately want to get to a state championship and play a state championship, and I think this would be a huge uh, boost in that, in that perspective. Uh, there's a lot of pressure, you know, not to be the first team to lose it, but we're just going to have a good week of practice, prepare well, and just show up Friday for the game, do what we do. And I understand the importance of the game, and uh, I understand what it means to the school and what it means to the community. So, you know, obviously I, I think a lot of the game myself as, as an alumnus, and we're going to get after it. So, That is Ryan Goddard. He's in his first year as South head coach. He replaces somewhat of a legend in Mark Herring. Goddard was an assistant to Herring and also played for him. David Ramirez is in his fourth year as head coach at Pueblo East. Eagles 4-2, and two, South 2-4. Two and four. Eagles might actually be favored. Kickoff 7 o'clock Friday night at Dutch